What alignment will you be playing? I got a poll going. You guys, you guys tell me. It looks right now people are playing good, neutral, uh, mostly good, and uh, split between neutral and evil. So I always play good character first on my first playthrough of any RPG. I'm always a good character first for some reason. I just think that I, I want to play that good character first. This one I am playing kind of a mix. I, I, I'm an angel, assassin, sending souls to hell. So and there you go. I'm being an assassin, but I'm being a good assassin. Killing the people, taking names, sending them to hell. Sending those souls to hell. I'm okay with that, though. I'm okay sending them to hell. I have no problem with that. Whoop. No, 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 no. That's not what I was trying to do. I was just trying to play. I'm not even sure I can play it. Hold on. Oh God, yeah. So every time I click out, I, I'm I'm gonna have to report that. I should be able to stream and click out of this without everything dying. Oh wow, I came here. That means all my people's gone, right? Anyways, yeah, I no longer have the. I mean, is that not the door? Yep, that is the door. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I always play the good character, and then I come back, and then I play kind of a more evil type character in my second or third playthrough. So, um, I need to find... I still need to find... What's his name? Where's the... Let me sell my stuff. Oh, that's the guy I was trying to find to begin with. Stanton. The dwarf resembles an abandoned citadel, one whose high crumbling walls are still folding fast, but whose empty, lightless windows make it clear that all inside is dead. Oh, it's you, God. Work back in the gray grace and name Stalton. Van. If you've heard rumors about me, his face looks like it was never known anything as carefree as a smile grimaces. Just you. Just so you know, everything people say about me is true. Um, I need to talk to you about the elf who calls himself a storyteller. Do you know where I can find him? Ah, oh, the storyteller. Hmm. Stoughton strokes his beard in thought. A strange old fella. That one. He used to sit with me for hours, asking me about all sorts of things. He never offered me judgment or comfort. He just listened. At first, I wanted him and his questions as far as way, away from me as possible. But after I realized that talking to him did ease my burden a little. I hope he is alive and well. He's completely blind and feeble too. So if he's alone in the city, well, you probably know what that means. I don't know. One place he might be. Look for him in the Blockwich. It's a library. Here, I'll show you where it is on the map. I don't know what use a library is to a blind elf, but he loved the place. He would sit there day and night. I have to go. I don't care what people say about him. I, I like him. He stood up to what's her name. Go on then. Maybe we'll see each other again. Alright, so now it is time to go sell some stuff. So how's the poll going? You guys voting in the poll? There's a poll, 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 poll. No, nobody's polling. Yeah, got a few votes. Alright. Uh, yep. 
I'm gonna sell some stuff. Okay. I'm done there. Okay, let's see. What do we got going on here? So now... See how many people are there still alive in the city? Potential mistakes. Where's the um Let's see, stolen moon, the head of the thieving guild. I guess we need to go help help the uh let's go do the thieving guild thing. Might as well take wait a minute, is there a healer in here that can take off my close to deathness that's, that's my my next thing is there uh ember an elf in front of you uh, no, you're always so cheerful I don't, man, I'm not worried about that I'm not worried about learning about people right now let's see personal chest Fashion in there, and right now I'm gonna put the hide armor in there just for now. Okay, what I really need is I need to find oops, someone who can take away my deathness. Survivor, survivor, survivor. Uh, it's good to see you. I look, uh, I look at you, and I think, I think if we've got people like that on our side, there's still hope. Kinnabris has suffered a terrible calamity, but still it goes on. Are you from around here? Uh, no, I was just passing through Kinnabris. I'm still sailing down to the creek. Okay, yeah, I already talked to you. Yep, I have to go. there so I don't have anybody I can actually that will actually be able to heal me of my close to death okay well at that point in time I guess we're just gonna go have to go to the uh, thieves guild then I guess it's off to the thieves guild So off to the Thieves Guild to deal with his thing. I, I'm gonna try you out. I don't even know anything about you. No, nope, get back here. Let's try you out. Let's see what Nino does. Does anyone like Nino, by the way? Does anyone like Nino? Let's try the little thieves guild, see what's going on. Random and care we fail to sneak. Prepare to fight. We are preparing to fight at this did point. Did we find in time. trouble? No. They did. Well. Well, yeah, I'm gonna hit that Forwards. one. You're gonna hit that one. You're gonna hit that no one. No glory without risk. I'm wondering. I haven't used any of this burning hand stuff before. Am I gonna hurt myself if I do this? Uh, effect by target spellers of fire. Can any creature in the area of the flames. Yeah, that's not good. Let's do Acid Splash on that one. Um, Days, that one. What do you got going on over there? Huh. 
Are you too similar? You guys look like the same. Scroll Savant. Some wizards consider scrolls a nature extension of their magic abilities. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Let's see. Ooh, a flick light lens. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do belt. I'm gonna have them. Mind over muscle. Let's see if that works. Hey. What do we got going on here? What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Finish going to the Tiefling Hideout. <laughs> All right, enter the Tiefling Hideout. The basement is dark and dank, and you are immediately struck by the hostility of the gathered tieflings. Five of them are kneeling along the wall, separate from the rest. The tall woman, who had been cleaning her fingernails with the tip of her knife, greets you with narrowed eyes. Brother, won't you? You got my message then. Uh, sorry, uh, I couldn't swing by sooner, dear sister. Karasmai. It was just one thing after another. First I was in shackles, next, well, no, uh, I was still in shackles. And I was being watched, and then the chief got me out, and I came here straight away. I knew you'd be waiting for me. Enough talking. Or else we'll be here all night. So, we had a clear plan. We were going to wait for nightfall. Slip into the shop. Grab the golds, goods. And then leave. Even if the neighbors called the guard, there was time to get away. But, what happened? That bitch, Irabeth, showed up almost right away. She knew we'd be there. Somebody betrayed us. And I have a good idea who it was. What do you have to say to that? Make it quick. Let's see, do you think what just knows the name of the traitor lawful? The burden of proof lies on. Nah, I wouldn't say that. That's not me. Why are you squabbling here instead of fleeing the city? Will Jeff tell us your side of the story? What happened? Uh, I don't like any of those, really. I really don't like any of them. Uh, best is I like. Uh, Kinnabris is burning. I would like to say, why are you squabbling here instead of fleeing the city? Will Jeff tell us your side of the story? What happened? He speaks. I thought Wolchev only brought you so he'd have someone to hide behind if things went south. What? What's there to tell? About a week ago, Sister Karasmai uh, got six of us together in this very basement. Me and those five over there. I mean, Wolchev just stepped towards the five tieflings kneeling by the wall. She rounds us up and she says, we've got a score. Uh, and, and centuries and wonders. 
The one place nobody ever been able to hit. The place that's guarded by a golem. But now a powerful scroll that would knock out the golem just happened to come into our possession. Along with a tip off that the shop owner would be gone on our particular night. All six of us know a bit of magic and we know that any enchanted junk will sell for a pretty penny. So we're in. And the most important thing was that none of us was to be hanging about the shop ahead of the job. No casing out the place, no calling attention to ourselves from either the golem or its master. This job was top secret. Totally top secret, you say. That's all true so far. Go on. Well, we did everything right. Uh, with the locks and the golem, I picked the lock. I remember it uh, clear as day. Sister Dala was on lookout. Brother Melroon had the scroll. Daffy, Tavi, and Veneer brought the sacks. We covered the windows and lit the torches. I remember scooping up rings and tossing the sack in. One right expensive one rolled away from me. I crawled under a table after it, and next thing I know, Irabeth was there. Everybody scarpered. Uh, uh, scarpered. Scarpered. I'm not even sure what that word is. Scarpered. But I was still under the table. Not my finest moment. I was going to wait it out, but then those blackheads were dragging me out by my tail and uh, put me in my shackles. They took all my rings off me and about 20,000 worth. And to add insult to Tindry, I never even found the last one. In the end, I got busted over nothing. So, they caught you. Poor thing stripped you of your loot and you didn't even manage to stash anything. Karismai is pointedly polishing her knife. Where's the moon of the abyss, Brother Wolgif? What is the moon of the abyss? It's an amulet. It used to sit on a little cushion in the window of the wonders of the antiquities. Sterling silver, sparkle like a star, fine piece of work. On one side there was a half moon, you know, a crescent, a uh, waning moon, and in the middle there was a dark crystal, like it was eclipsing the moon. Old man Philemon was so proud of that amulet, he used to say, I'll never sell it. It's the jewel of my collection. We'll just size an amulet. I used to go there to see what kind of treasures there were in the world. There's nothing else to look at in Kinnabras. People used to claim it was a powerful thing, but who's to say? If you ever stole a thing like that, you'd have the guards on you the second you tried to fence it. Everybody knew that you were always hanging around wonders and antiquities, drooling over the moon of the abyss. Did you think you could swipe it in all the commotion and keep it for yourself? Did you hope that we'd all be locked up and you'd get off scot-free? And with a fancy tricking to beat, boot. Don't take me for a mug. Wolgif, I see right through you. Why would Irabeth arrest her own informant? Took the words right out of my mouth. It doesn't make any sense. If I was the rat, I'd have kissed her on the hand and been long gone by now. You know me, sister. I'm a cautious fellow, not an idiot. Why would I go against the family? So the fish in the sullen can have a nice wolf sized dinner. The moon of the abyss is a pretty bauble, but be sure. Uh, but it's just an amulet. It ain't worth dying over. You knew, Erebeth, people would protect you. You knew you could pin the moon going missing on them. And now you've come here with backup. 
You knew exactly what I was going to say to you. Only problem is, nobody's returned the amulet to Philemon. Are you giving Erebeth a cut? Is that it? Have you seen her? Do you think she'd take a cut of anything I offered her? She can't be bought. She's like three heralds of Iomidae all around into one. He speaks the truth. You'll find some knights who will take bribes. I'm sorry to say, but Irabeth Tiravade isn't one of them. Go on, Woodruff. That's the whole story. Woodruff crosses his arms, looking affronted. Some family this turned out to be. So just a name in the end. In a real family, people take each other at their word. They don't throw around accusations. I didn't take the moon of the abyss. What am I going to do with it? You can sell it to no crusaders. It's a special item. You can't wear it. It's got... It'll get nicked. It's pretty to look at. Sure, but... It ain't that pretty. If it's the important, if it's that important to you, sister, I'll find it. And I'll drag the traitor here by his horns. Just so you don't end up at the bottom of the cellar. But do you know what you're going to owe me for that? An apology. Right here, in front of everybody. You're going to apologize loud and clear so everybody hears it. Y'all say, Sorry, Wiljif, you're a good guy and I was wrong about you. Fine. You're one of my people, which is why I'm going to give you some time. But if you run, Brother Wiljif, the family will get you wherever you go. You'll, in, you'll spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder, tossing and turning at night, fearing poison in every cup and every meal. You'll look into the eyes. <coughs> you look into the eyes of every tiefling you meet, wondering if the families come for you. You'll have no peace, but one day you'll be tired of running. You'll stop to catch your breath, and that is when we'll get you. Got that? You've a way with words, Sister Garismai. A way that almost made me wet myself, but a uh, way nonetheless. Let's go, Chief. We'll go chat at that scary gal, Irabeth. Uh, she knows you a little. You can ask her who ra ratted us out. Uh, I'll let you do the talking. We'll find the real traitor. And I'll get my apology. Onward to Erebeth, Chief. Let's go clear our good name. Root out the traitor. But be quick about it. Time's running out. I don't want to get chewed up by demons.